What's going on guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I teamed up with iMusic, Music Manager and Downloader, because if you're looking for software that contains almost all the tools you need to manage downloaded music, transfer music between iPhone, iPad, iPod, Android, download music from YouTube, anything like that, make sure to check out the link in the description and check this little trailer. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and finally I got around to this walkthrough because I was trying to film this video all week but I kept getting this error message that you can see right here and I was emailing back and forth with you know magics and they told me a few things I could try that wouldn't work so I thought okay let's just figure this out and we kept working on it and all of a sudden they gave me a solution that worked so welcome to this brand new video today we're gonna go over the Vegas Movie Studio 16 version that come out that has come out recently and I'm so excited to bring this video for you guys because if you guys at the end of this video feel like I want to pick this up for not even $80 make sure to check out the first link in the description you can pick it up right there but first let's see what you guys will get when you buy this program so if you're excited for this tutorial make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and let's get into the walkthrough right now after the intro. All right, so as you can see right now, we are on a website and right here it says Vegas Movie Studio 16 Platinum. It is available for not even $80 and you can also upgrade if you have a previous version, for example, Platinum 15 and you can just save some money by doing that. So we also have a free trial for you guys to check it out. But if you click on new purchase, you can just click on the Movie Studio itself, which is $49.99 and you can just find all the specifications below the product as you can see right there but if we hit the movie studio platinum it is available for $79.99 and it just it is just the same as previous versions but it has a lot more cool features and I'm gonna go over step by step but right here we also have the Vegas movie studio 16 suite version which is available for pickup for $139.99 we're gonna discuss the Vegas movie studio 16 platinum version so if you open up the program this is what you will get so first of all we need to choose a template so right now you can just choose for example I want to create a video uh, for YouTube or for TV or anything you want to pick this template if you want to create a video for example for other platforms such as Instagram or Instagram stories that you know requires a square resolution or a long one uh, you can just pick this tall one for phones tablets etc so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit widescreen and right now we're here it says example project but that's only if you have an existing movie project so if you're starting from scratch you can just hit widescreen and then you want to hit close so right now this is basically the version and this looks pretty much like Vegas Pro 16 it has the same interface we have the preview screen right there we have our editing timeline right here we have all the tabs that we need explore transitions video effects media generators and it is really really easy to edit videos in movie studio 16 because as, as you can see at the top it says arrange media so if we hit that that is going to just basically ask us to import you know all kinds of you know clips into your video into your timeline okay so right here below that it says add text and titles that's going to bring you to basically all the tabs that you can use or you can just hit for example media generators and then you can just add in text and anything like that so if we hit add text and titles it's going to basically add in a text file so right here you can just add in in this box for example you can just type in your name and then obviously just like other versions and vegas pro 16 you can drag this text around and obviously in the timeline at the bottom you can just for example like this lower the opacity or just you know add in a fade in add in a fade out add in transitions onto the text it works all the same it is pretty pretty cool so right here it says add graphic elements and that includes you know for example like these textures or anything like that related to you know visuals so it is really really simple so let's go ahead and import a video right guys so as you can see this is just the timeline which we have right here and it works exactly 
exactly the same. You can just go ahead and add in transitions. You can just press S on your keyboard like this to, you know, split it, delete parts. It works the same like Vegas Pro 16. And if you guys are wondering like where the icons are right here, it is basically really simple to get these back, which is you want to click on these three little lines. Then you want to click edit visible button set. And you want to make sure that you will hit show all. And as you can see right now, the icons are back. For example, the track motion feature to animate it, to make things bigger. And obviously you can just also do that for the audio track, edit visible button set, show all like this. And also right here below the preview screen, show all. And if we do that, all the icons are back and you got and that. And this is basically the layout that you guys are all familiar with. So it's really simple to just add in text, to add in, you know, graphic elements, but you can also add in video transitions. So if we hit on that, it, this is basically the transitions that we can choose from. For example, this really epic, you know, dissolve glare. We also we, we also have all these awesome transitions that you can drag onto your clips. I'm just going to show you guys how to do that, but you guys probably know that. But this is Movie Studio, so some things are a little bit different. So let's just go ahead and drag on a, a, you know, a fade in onto the clip. Now we're going to go ahead and hover over a nice transition, which is this one. Let's just drag it onto the fade. And if I play it back, as you can see, that is basically a transition that you can just drag on real, real simple. And this is basically a transition that you can just add in onto your clips. And that looks really, really tight. Okay, so below the video effects, we have make movie. So if we hit that, what you can do is you can upload it to Vimeo. You can upload it to YouTube, to Facebook. You can burn it to a DVD or a Blu-ray disk you can save it to your camera or portable device and you can save it to your hard drive but that is not the same as for example rendering a video because if you're finished editing a video you would want to select everything that you want to export you want to hit project and right here it says render as and of course Vegas movie studio wouldn't be the same if magics would you know include all versions doesn't matter if it's Vegas Pro or movie studio all under one wing so that means that your render settings are also imported straight into this version or in uh, from previous versions to newer versions so you don't have to do that all over again so you can just for example hit sony avc slash mvc and right here at the bottom it says 60 fps or anything like that or whatever the name is of your template they're all in there so you can just start exporting right away okay so before you render it's really important that you will have matching preview settings and you can optimize those on this little wheel icon that says project video property above the preview screen so if we hit that what we need to do is obviously you know for example pick template and then you want to make sure to pick your template that you have whether it's 720p if it's 1080p if it's 1080p 60 fps that all needs to be matched so what we need to do is for example hit hdv 1080p 24p but then what we need to do is we need to pick the frame rate and you want to put that one to 60 the full resolution rendering quality is best and you want to make sure that you will pick hdv HDV 1080. Then you want to call this, for example, template like that. You want to hit this diskette icon to save your template. You want to hit apply. And if you click on OK, now you can start editing or just, you know, render it first because you need to have matching settings, both in the project video properties and your render settings. And besides all of the features that, you know, this program contains, everything else is the same. For example, if you're editing a video about a challenge and you're laughing, for example, and you want to use that one as a thumbnail you can take a screenshot for example by hitting this diskette icon which says save snapshot to file so that will save that still frame that you see in your preview screen everything is basically the same guys in vegas pro 16 and in movie studio 16 with just a lot more features uh, that you can use right here and it is really really simple so if you guys feel the need like i want to pick this up for 79.99 instead of vegas pro 16 which is almost 600 dollars you can check out the first link in the description make sure to pick it up you can also have like this money back guarantee this is basically a really really cool program if you don't want to spend the entire six hundred dollars if you're for example not too sure if you want to you know continue with this because i can understand that if it's a hobby you don't want to pay the full price for something that's maybe a, for example a temporary hobby so if you say like okay i just want to try it out give it a shot you can just buy this program for not even 
even $80 and this is just so amazing but I'm telling you guys once you have picked up this program you're gonna use nothing else but Vegas Movie Studio 16 or Vegas Pro 16 because this is just the software that I find the, you know the most easy to use effective I've been using this program for edit to edit for clients and you don't need other really expensive complicated softwares than other than Vegas Pro 16 that's it for this walkthrough I hope I cleared up some things if you have any more questions about what this software can do or what features are in make sure to drop them in the comments down below I'll try to answer as many of questions as I can and if you want to pick it up link is in the description guys that's it I'll see you guys in a brand new video on Monday obviously so I'll see you guys next week you <laughs>